Hello everybody, and welcome back to Quick Plays. So, it's Christmas Eve, or at least it should be when this is going up, and, um, yeah, fittingly we're gonna be playing some Home Alone for the Sega Genesis, a shockingly good licensed game. Like, like, I know there are some people who would probably disagree, but, like, I just really love this game so much. And as you probably noticed from the title, this is- oh god, I forgot about that annoying sound, hold on. Get out of here. Okay, yeah, to boost, you have to endure obnoxious sounds. But yeah, um... Yeah, as you probably noticed from the title, this is not just gonna be a normal run of the game. I'm also gonna be looking into the prototype version of this game, which, like, I'd heard existed, but I never found any information on anywhere online, so I just assumed, oh, I guess it's just nothing special. Um... Also, hold on, let's get out of this menu for a sec. Um, I assumed it was nothing special because it's like, no one ever talks about it. So, I guess it can't really be anything, but... Um, there's a shocking amount of changes in that prototype, which are just... not really documented, like, anywhere. I, I'm gonna have to endure the boost sound, aren't I? And yeah, I wanna go a little bit into, um... the normal version of the game, just to show you a little bit so you can have a comparison. Um, you saw in the main menu that there was, like, um, expert mode and there was also beginner mode. The reason for that is, um... Beginner mode is 20 minutes long, and expert mode is 40 minutes, and it's basically just like, you have to survive for longer. So it's like, yeah. Um, this is, as I said, it's shockingly fun because like, I'll show you the game, actual main gameplay in a second. Once we get past this annoying sound, I just want to make sure I have some supplies. Okay, I'm not going to. Because <laughs> like, you have like a minute or two before the wet bandits show up. Oh good, I didn't get to set up the house. Well, whatever. Um, good, no, I'm going to set up one of the other houses, so that I can actually show that menu on the final. Yes. So yeah, uh, if the wet bandits aren't already in a house, you can, uh, use the floor, floor plan to set up traps. Uh, some things can only be set up in the middle room, some in doorways. And, yeah. I'm just gonna leave it with, like, like that for now. And, yeah, each house has a different theme, like this, the this house is haunted. There's also good music for, like, pretty much the entire game. The music is fantastic. Kevin? Thank you. Yeah, also Kevin has different weapons, where it's like... Whoops. <laughs> I want to collect as much as I can, because you can go to your weapons inventory and start um, making items. Like, you need three parts to do an item, an operator, a platform, and ammo. They are all shown off here, and... Um, I don't have any operators, so I can't make anything, so all we have is the standard B gun. <laughs> yeah, um... I think that, uh... That might be an operator up there, but let's go into the first house and just check it out. Um, if you just want to see this, the prototype version of this game without my commentary, uh, there's going to be a link in the description to that version, unless I forget. Um... And yeah, I, the description will probably also say where you have to skip ahead to if you just want to see the prototype footage. Yeah, let's just play for a bit, because I just... What was that? Yeah, I just love this game so much. Uh, also, I don't think I can get up there without a tire... No, I can. That might be an operator. Marv just grabbed me. Where's that Harry? I don't remember which is... I think this might be Marv. Okay. So, yes, uh, can we auto-make anything? Whoops, that is not the button I wanted to press. No, there's no auto-makes, because I guess nothing works with Overband. Because, like, technically you can, like, guess and choose, but, like... Oh. Maybe I was wrong. Yeah. Okay, so there's a snowball mortar. So we have that made. And yeah, to win, you have to give them enough pain to fill up their pain meter before they loot the house entirely. Yeah, um, there's a bunch of safes in each house, and like, yeah. Yeah, your goal is just to make sure they don't loot all of them. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, that was my fault. I don't know why they're skipping that one. I pressed the wrong button. Okay. 
Dude, you're gonna get up. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so, like, I'm not playing very well at the moment, but, like, if you prepare and you know what you're doing, you can, like, do really well. Like, this just could be a lot of fun. That is not the jump button. Now I've all used up almost all my ammo. Okay, well... <laughs> I also, way back in the day, did a Let's Play with my brother, like, where we kind of swapped between us, and, like, it was just... <laughs> it's kind of unfortunate because, like, it was a fun Let's Play, and we did had some ridiculous moments in it, but, um... I decided to record that Let's Play on VHS <laughs> because I couldn't, um use my normal recording software at the time, and like, yeah, the recording kind of fucked up in the middle, so, <laughs> whoops. Oh, um, before I forget, um, a couple days from now, or at least a couple days from when this goes out, because you can watch this in the future, obviously, uh, will be Zeldathon Forces, which is starting December 27th at 4pm Eastern. I'm gonna be there, we're gonna be raising money for, uh, uh, for St. Jude, I almost said Direct Relief, which is not true. And yeah, we're going to be doing some crazy stuff, like I'm going to be doing a uh, Zelda Relay Challenge, where I'm going to be hosting two uh, teams which are going to be competing each other to complete a series of things as quick as possible. <sighs> okay, okay. <sighs> and yeah, it's going to be December 30th at 6pm if you want to watch that. Whoops, I keep pressing the wrong button. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun, and you could, uh... Yeah, please check that out. Nope, that's not real. I know there was a way to automatically... ...put these together. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting completely distracted right now. Oh, there we go. Oh no, I just disassembled the snowball mortar. I'm dumb. I'm trying to remember what the... Like, I know that there was a way to automatically fill these in. God dang it. Like, I'm tr I think this might be a... Like, this might be the coal launcher? Nope, it's not. Whatever. Anyway, you got the gist of it. Let's uh, go over to the beta version. Alright, so you'll probably see the title screen is a little bit different. Um, and the menu is different, too. Um, I can't actually change any of the stats. Hmm. Okay, I guess I could just start the game. So, um, the menu is a lot different. There's no annoying uh, boost sound when you're boosting, which is also good. <laughs> yeah, this is just a completely different game, pretty much. Or at least visually, it's a completely different game. Also, you get stuck on objects really easily in this beta. There's also no true collision, because, like, any object, um, you just kind of slide through really slowly. <laughs> yeah, also, yeah, another thing is there are six houses in this version, and only five of them are implemented. I think they're the same houses from the final, except with slightly different layouts, probably? One of the houses, yeah, just doesn't work as far as I know. Also, the wet bandits are already parked. Cool. Um, let's try and set up some traps before they get in. Um, hello? Is that this, the house that doesn't work? What? Oh, I forgot that was a thing. Also, there's actually a sound effect for that. Okay. Yeah, if you hammer A, you should be able to... I know there was a button where you could enter the houses. It's like I've done it before. Uh, this is going to be problematic if I can't get into the houses, because I know I've done it. Like, I've tested. I've gotten to the houses before. Hello? Um, excuse me. I 
I'm a little concerned right now. Okay, you know what, um, we'll be right back. Alright, uh, so we're back in, uh, back at the menu again. Honestly, this is probably gonna be the cut that I put as the, uh, uncommentated version. So, I'm gonna just go around a little bit again, grab some more items from Snowman. Uh, I think it, like, I checked, it should be Stark in front of a house, because there's a tiny bit of documentation about this online. Like, and I mean a tiny bit, because, like, there are no articles I can find on it, it's just, like, two forum posts on, like, the Sega 16 forums. And that's it. Okay, get out of that tree. Also, I probably should have tested this before I came back into the recording. Let's go to this one, because I think this is Kevin's house. Just because the wet bandits are already here. There we go. There we- No, it's the old house, and you can already see major differences in the appearance. Like, wow. Also, this is completely different. I have th I just tick up. I have three different snowballs, and yeah, I don't have enough to make any items. This- this menu is so different. What the heck? Look at this! Don't want to get caught. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, wow. Like, this is just so different. Also, it looks like my shaking animation is faster. Okay, that was a glitch. But that's fine. That's kind of the point. Let's see if I could just walk past him while he's looting, or if he'll catch me. Nope, he catches me. Okay, I'll just have to shoot him. He gave up. Good. Yeah, wow, I'm, I'm just surprised, because I'm so used to seeing this place like, looking completely different. Okay, you just caught me out of thin air. Also, is that- was that a- oh my god, we're all the way back here. Alright, do we have enough- hold on. Do we have any more tires? No? Okay. Let's see if I have enough items to make a... thing. Oops. Um... Let's see, uh, trying to remember... Oh, okay, I just walked through him. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we can make any... Yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna keep collecting items. I can't really make anything in this build, I think. Alright, well, can we jump on this? Maybe? Oh, I just noticed the dollar signs are where the loot things are. Oh my gosh, just stuck here in this tree. Come on. Kevin? There we go. Alright, uh, let's... Hello? Okay, that's all I could really do. They've almost looted that house entirely. Uh, sorry I'm not talking much. Again, I'm just so, sh so shocked at how different this is. Okay, I was able to jump on the stairs. I don't know if you could do that in the final. 
also that carpet looks different. <laughs> and there's nothing here either. Were those just infinite blow dryers? <laughs> okay, the, the walls glitched up too. So, um, yeah, I... Just after being so used to this game, it's just like... <sighs> wow. Also, has that loop been going up at all? I haven't been really paying attention except that it's on the screen. <laughs> nice graphics there. Yeah, I guess while I'm not in the house, they're not able to loop, maybe? I'm gonna be trying to go into every house just so we can have that footage for, uh, for online. So I can put that up. Oops. Just showing that you could go into these dang houses. I do not want to waste time going through all of them, though. Okay, the front door to the modern house is completely different, because, like, this looks way... Also, what's with the art for the bars up there? Ah, this is not even... Com <laughs> what? What? Okay, Kevin. Okay, Kevin. Also, the robot's obviously not here. <laughs> Kevin, what are you doing? <laughs> This is so unfinished, I love it. <laughs> this is just beautiful. Alright, um... Oh, get out of the tree! Kevin! Kevin! <laughs> get out of the tree! Oh my gosh. There's the old house. Well, the other old house. Yep, the, I definitely remember this from the final. I don't know if it's still there, but like in the final, there is a part of the floor in the first floor that can just break on you. Also, crossbow? Hmm. Nice place for coal. Okay, what did we have in the final? Was it like... Move these. Um, uh, I think it was like snow, the scoop. No, snow rubber bands and something else. Like there was, uh, um, I don't remember actually. Let's let's use the crossbow. Maybe that'll work. Oh, whoops. Okay, I, that's not gonna work. Also, they are looting. That's still going. There is a way up here. I can't remember. I need tire. Okay, whatever. I can't get up there. Let's check out another house. Um. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so... Okay, that was the thing. Can I crash in the mailbox? Nope. Oh good, this place. The stupid... Like, the stupidest level in the final. Because I hate this music so so freaking much. <laughs> it 
It's the goofiest music. Kevin? There aren't even items placed in this one. Also, has my score gone up at all? Like, is it reset per house, or like, has it just been stuck at zero? Oh, there was an item here. What? I don't know what that item was, but there was- oh, was it the glue? Alright, uh, there- I think there's one house left. Also, I want to see what happens when they fully loot a house. So, you know what, let's go back to the other house because they're about to finish looting it, and I want to see uh, if a cutscene plays for them fully looting it, like it does in the final. What? What just happened? <laughs> Kevin? Was that animation supposed to play when you're, um... Yeah, this, this is the house that doesn't work. I think that was the animation that was supposed to play when you're, um... Uh, knocked out into the stratosphere by the water. Sorry, I got distracted because I'm trying to get there before the before they leave the house. Hello, game. They're done. All right. Well, there's no cutscene that plays. They just um. Okay, this is not what I was expecting. Well, um, they just destroyed the neighborhood. <laughs> Alright, there should be one more house left, and I can't remember which one it is. If Kevin will move. So that was the... That was the farmhouse. This is the broken house that doesn't work. They're looting a house, and I don't know which one. Hold on. Is there a third house down here on the street? Or am I miscounting? Wait, we have the farmhouse, the old house, the future house, Kevin's house, neither. Okay, no, there. I did go to all the houses. I'm stupid. <laughs> Ignore me. Let's check Kevin's house, because that might be the one they're at. Oh! Okay. Okay. Alright. Um, let's get out of here before we go blind. And the game crashed! Okay. Well, that's it. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, let's go back into the main game, and that'll be the end for the beta version. Alright, so this is back in the final game. <laughs> I was definitely not expecting that. Also, um, yeah, I, I was confused on the controls, and that's... Also, that's not what I... Hold on, we'll be right back, let me reset. Okay, I want to check because, like, I forgot there was a sound test, like, right here on the main menu. Yeah, like... Yeah, it's just all the different houses. Wow. Wait. Oh, that's just the entrance tune. Cool. And then, of course... Yeah, let's just end with the good music. Uh, the good ending music. So, yeah, um... Next up, uh... I'm gonna be going away again a bit for, uh... Yeah, uh, I'm not going to be doing quick plays again for a bit. Like, I'll be back eventually. But let's take another break. Um, in the meantime, check out Zelda Home Forces, December 27th, uh, starting at 4pm, going to January 2nd. Uh, yeah, December 30th at 6pm Eastern is going to be uh, the Zelda Relay that I'm hosting. And yeah, just come on, let's have some fun. So, I don't know what else to say. Thanks for watching, and uh, hope you enjoyed checking out this obscure prototype for this really fun game. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.